Hey all. Welcome back to another hands-on exercise. This one's going to be around testing, debugging, and deploying a call flow. It's going to be pretty simple. There's not much here, but uh, one step you do need to take in order to make, uh, make these tests. Obviously, you need a test number, an inbound number. That's out of the realm of this, of being able to you know, actually buy a number from Genesis Cloud. If you guys are in a, in a company org already, then maybe you already have test numbers that you can apply. But I'm going to show you a, a real basic one real quick before we get started uh, to kind of show you uh, what all needs to be done. So it's pretty much the final step. You can do this anytime throughout the call flow. You don't have to do it at the end. You can, do, you can add the call routes before if you want. Um, but it's to add the call route. And this is really what is going to connect the call flows to the inbound numbers. So let's go ahead and get started here. So the call flow uh, or call route, you can you know, label it whatever you want, whether, you know, my, my first call route, for example, whatever division you're going to put it in. If you have some test divisions or whatever, maybe put it in there. You can also then route it to a call flow. And you can kind of see that I have, you know, just three call flows here. Here's my first call flow. Um, there is a number that I already have assigned to a different one, but you'd be searching for the number here, whether you do, you know, three one, my area code, obviously you can see that's already attached to another one, but you can go ahead and create. And so from here, then it would allow you to now make the phone call with the inbound number. You can kind of see I did that already here. This is going to my first call flow. Here's the test number I've got. Um, I did just DC inbound. That's our, that's our names or company initials, DC inbound with, uh, with home. So we're all ready to go. How we, uh, how you can test or debug this is um, obviously we're in edit mode right now with our first call flow. You can hit that debug. Remember right from other hands-on exercises I've kind of um, showed this box. But one thing you can do is once that debug gets enabled, it then shows you an address that you can highlight. You can copy here. You can come over to your dial pad and call it. I don't usually do it that way. What I usually do is I'll um, I'll use either my my phone or, or Google Voice, and I'll actually take this test number and I'll dial it from there and test all the different options. So you remember, you know, all the different options. For example, would be when you call into this main menu, there's sales, support, billing, uh, transferring to John Doe, and then after hours. So you, you kind of think about it in a in a holistic point of view of I need to test every single function, and every single function is based off of the main menus, based off putting the um, putting the uh, schedule check in closed, emergency and holiday, as well as open, and testing all those different scenarios. Now, what you're testing for is you're testing for um, just to make sure that the it's routing correctly. Like if something happens and it goes through and, and an error happens, troubleshooting that error uh, to where it's, let's say, instead of going to sales here, it disconnects. You wanna troubleshoot that path to see why it's doing that, correct that before you hand that off to quality assurance team um, and before you hand that off for user acceptance testing because then that ticket's just going to come right back to you you're going to have to then troubleshoot it again or troubleshoot it further to resolve it so why not take care of it before handing this off to the team to QA so as we do that obviously one of the important things is validating making sure that everything is correct from a validation standpoint that does not do it all though um, that's just taking making sure that you know you don't have any open-ended um, open-ended tasks or menus, nothing, everything's closed up. There's no, there's no loops on it or there's no dead air space here. Um, just making sure that it's done. So the next step is then making the calls, using your test number to make the calls in and out. Um, I'm not going to show you here. It's, it is self, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's taking the test number that I happen to create from the call route here and then put it into your, into your phone, your cell phone, your desk phone, your, you know, Google voice number or wherever you want. Uh, and calling in and testing your your flow out all the way through. Um, that's testing data actions. That's testing everything. And so that's why there's really a, a really good concept of doing this, and it's a common module. So we don't get into common modules too much in this course. Uh, that's really for a down the line extended um, into another course of getting into the weeds more about common modules and, and bots and whatnot. But in this preference, there's a call log you can create for a common module. Um, I'll go ahead and put the code uh, to create the common module in there. That way you're able to do this. But what that does is that allows you to 
have several all different kinds of inputs and that will be logged in the interaction so when you go into uh, when you go into performance workspace and interactions you'll have a view of the beginning step and then each path that it takes all the way to the, either the queue or the voicemail or whatnot so that's one really good path of doing that so like for this for example you can do this and so it's common text add right it's um my first call flow begin just as simple as that and if your company has a a, a default requirement of how they need it set up or if they have something that they already have documented that is going to do this um, then that's that's how you need to follow it and then really what you can do is copy and then for open you can paste you can paste all here and you kind of see what I'm doing here um, I usually do this after the call flow is done that way I can quickly see all of the different elements of where I need to put this but if you kind of look at what I'm doing here this is so uh, schedule open right so we know that that's schedule open I usually put in the name too that way you can see what's happening here I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these at schedule open and then I'll just rename them all so emergency emergency so you can kind of see what I'm doing it's not that difficult um, the I will attach if it lets me I will attach the um, the call flow for the common module to this thing so you can kind of take a look you can run through it all that good stuff um, holiday Default is there. I had forgotten about that. Default. So now you kind of see this is what the path I take to it. This helps me uh, troubleshoot. So as you're going through here, let's say it comes into here and it disconnects here, but it goes path, past this common module here. Now you know that it failed after this point, but before the next one. Um, and you, it just allows you to really focus where it failed uh, and help out so that's really all for this course here is make sure you thoroughly test everything that's the that's the main uh, the main thing to testing to debugging to deploying obviously deploying they're already you know it's already ready to be deployed you put a prod number in the call route uh, and it's ready to go um, but so just make sure that by the end of this course that you are familiar with that piece of it run through debug everything um, apply the comma module and call log to every you know every option every turn that could be um, you know even a data action the, the different yes or no data action paths everything that way you're able to fine-tune everything you're able to spot uh, an error if it occurs and quickly fix it uh, thanks for joining see you on the next hands-on